grew up in the rodeo world. So every weekend I was at a rodeo, rode horses, I roped, ran barrels, goat tied, you name a rodeo event, I probably competed in it, including bull riding. But outside the rodeo world, I always had an interest in agriculture. After college, I worked on a dude ranch in Colorado for two summers. When I came back from the dude ranch, I had an interview lined up with Extension and that started my 12-year career with the Extension Service as a 4-H agent. So in January, I swapped careers from a 4-H youth extension agent to an ag marketing specialist. Um, my focus is on content and social media for livestock companies. Um, with this change, it also allowed me to work remotely from home, which has been a godsend when it comes to the farm because I do have a little more flexibility. Flying Pig Cattle Co. is a commercial cow-calf operation where we raise commercial cattle as well as miniature cattle. And we also have meat goats and dairy goats, a couple chickens, a couple dogs, a couple ranch cats. We're just pretty well-rounded, everything but a pig. So my husband and I got married about seven years ago and we were both heavily involved in agriculture. So this land was actually my grandparents' dairy farm up until the mid 80s. So we started from scratch on the land. We started with a few cows. I had a couple, he had a couple. We brought them together for the herd and then we built from there. We've put, built a lot of fence. We built a house, a couple barns and equipment sheds. Um, but it's been awesome to have something that we built ourselves with our hard work and the help of our family. So starting out, I just had followed a bunch of agriculture people on Instagram and I loved that they were telling their story and using social media as a platform for that purpose. And so I decided that I wanted to start trying. And so a few years back, I started by just posting random things that we were doing on the farm, um, introducing people to our herd, and showing them what we did on a day-to-day -day basis. And so from that it grew, I've always enjoyed writing. So I started our website and started building a blog. So I took on a project I called Female Farmer Friday. And I did written interviews of female farmers across the United States and Canada. And I used my blog to share their stories. My husband and I both work full-time off-farm jobs at least 40 hours a week. And the farm in itself is another full-time plus job. So it is a challenge sometimes. It's a lot of teamwork that goes into it. We work together. We both know how to do everything that needs to be done on the farm. For, and sometimes things just don't get done on as quick a timetable as we intend. But that's part of not being full-time farmers. So my husband and I are currently expecting our first daughter and she will be here in September. And we're excited to raise her on the farm and we figure that she'll probably be running the place in the next couple of years.